What's up boys and girls, welcome back to the let's play of Cinema Rosa. So we're stuck here in this room and uh, on the last episode I decided to try and uh, google uh, the RGB code for uh, purple and I'm going to test this out. So RGB, uh, so the code, oh, fuck's sake, <laughs> keep changing the numbers, sorry for cursing there. Keep changing the numbers. Uh, so it's 128 for purple. So it's a mixture of like half red and half blue. Let me try. Let's see. Da -da -da -da. Nothing happens. <laughs> so I'm not sure uh, what to do, really. Ooh, there's some numbers here. I got my. Uh, I had my flashlight on, so I couldn't really see anything. There's something to this color scheme here. There's a wheel here, but uh, nothing seems to work. Okay, let me try the green again and check the book, if anything changes. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Let's put this all everything at zero. Uh, 255. Oh my god, I changed it to this one. So I'm at green again. I check the book now. No, it still doesn't change anything. Uh so I have no idea. Maybe let's do these ones. Two fifty five. Red and green. Nope. Uh just red. Oh, something happened. Hold on. Okay, all right. Oh. Oh, we can get out of here now. Nice. I'm not sure why uh, the reds reacted this way. Not sure what was the puzzle there, but anyways, I'll take it. Michael said he couldn't help. It had gone on too long. It was already infecting your brain, seeping through neural networks like a worm through soil, erasing every memory. Some sort of labyrinth. I'm not sure who this Michael guy is, but maybe he works for the insurance insurance company? The never pay insurance company. The hot head balloon here, but can't seem to. Oh my god! Oh, I just fell off the game. Shit. Oh no! Did I break it? I'm walking on uh, nothing on there. I walk towards this uh, stream here. See what happens. And nothing. I'm just inside of it. Okay. There's a big chair here. All right, game. Did I uh? Let me go. Let me go this way. I can go back to the start here, and I can make my way up again. Sort of a weird bug this is. Okay, we're back here. Okay. I got this. Uh... That level is a bit lower than the rest. Otherwise. If I fallen any further, I would be stuck. <laughs> oh, these are popcorns, like giant popcorns. There's a cinema seat. Kind of a weird, uh, very weird. Why? Say, so, there's a like a coke can or a, like a. Michael phoned me that night. Said it would never be the same. I didn't believe him. I couldn't. There's a big ship here. Let's uh, fly the balloon, I guess.
Oh, that balloon was very quick. <laughs> Normally they're not that quick. Uh, it'd be cool if you had some music in this uh, scene. And just the uh, wind sounds that are a bit... We never went to Oxford, did we? Everything appears and disappears. There's another massive key. Pick that one up. Hard work, lazy, impossible. Don't bother, give up. Rebuild the real possible love dreams. Why? And we're back in the cinema. Oh, this uh, place is open now. Let's check. Just a waiting room. Pirates of Penance. Oh, Penance. Penance? Never heard that one. Midsummer Night's Dream. These, uh, these doors are boarded up. This is a very cool looking cinema. Oh, it's got two floors for the same... Ah, oh, it's so cool. I've never been in a cinema theater that had like two floors. Alien corn. One of Thurston's astounding mysteries. She floats all over the stage and into the audience, then vanishes like a flading clown. When all was dark, Le Film Mysterieux, Le Vampire. Mistakes will happen. Jim Whitmore, I guess this is us. Oh, it's locked. This one as well. Ooh, this one isn't. So this is just a bar, I guess. Second floor bar. That. This, uh, <laughs> it's, this is really troopy. I mean, that's, it's just a picture. Like, the way it's rendered, I don't know, it's really fucking weird. You can see it's like wallpaper. What was this? Tomato juice. Blah. <laughs> Picked up tomato juice. Some Tabasco. Oh, we making a Bloody Mary. I think we are. Lemon juice, yep. Let me see. Where's the... Ooh, celery? Yep. Where's the vodka? Here we go. Oh no, Worcester sauce? Yeah. We need some vodka now. And pepper. Yeah. Pepper. Wine. Wine. Where's the goddamn vodka? Oh, maybe it's a virgin Bloody Mary? Oh, it seems that way. I mean... Yeah, Virgin Bloody Mary, here we go. In the dark glass, tomato juice, pepper, lemon juice, Worcester sauce, Tabasco, and celery stick for garnish. Alright. I used to work in the bar and we had, we had to make a ton, shit ton of these. Where's the, uh... I need the, the tumbler. Dude. If I can mix it all in. Here it is, the cup. Oh, the glass, okay. Here we go. Tomato juice, pepper, Tabasco. It's disgusting, by the way. I really didn't like <laughs> making Virgin Marys because, <laughs> I mean, I don't like them personally. They're spicy. They like tomato juice. Everything I hate. <laughs> Sweet. Open up another door. Here we go. Ooh. Where? The slamming of the doors still echoes in the stillness of the cinema, in the long halls of sunlit lamps and furnishings, of the notes I have left everywhere of what you said that night. Oh, this one thing is alright. I don't love you anymore. What? Are all the doors locked? Am I stuck in there? Uh, I might be. I can't go back. She doesn't love me anymore. I'm stuck in this hateful corridor. Oh, there was a note. 
Sorry, I missed that. Leave me alone. Oh, another key. Nice. I guess we are leaving them. Whoa, what the hell is going on? Oh! This is like that scene from Inception. Oh no! Okay. Let's check uh, if this key leads to the other door here. And that's a big no. Okay, let's try let's try our office, which was upstairs. Can I check this uh, projection? The projection room. Oh no, it's stuck. Maybe, ooh. Can I touch that? Wait. Something is missing. Okay. Maybe the movie, I think. Here we go. We're in our office. The bird here? Like a gold. That's a really fat bird. What? Just moved the bird slightly, okay. Alfred Hitchcock's The Birds, ah, oh, okay. Never seen that one, I've seen uh, a few movies from Alfred Hitchcock, I've never seen The Birds. Heard nice uh, things though. Yes, this is, this is a reminder to watch it. We're just slightly twisting all the birds. I can't twist them anymore. It's just a, let me just lets me do it once and that's it. Employee files. Brian has a personality, huge issue. Offended me on social media. Terminate immediately. <laughs> I don't think that's cause for termination, but uh, anyways. Can I check more employees? Oh yeah, yeah. Tim. Caught stealing stationery, must impose stricter controls. Late again this week, said it was for personal reasons, must investigate. Seems to have higher aspirations for a different, for a different career. Huge issue. Watch him in the bird room for signs of a personality. If so, terminate. What, if he has a personality, terminate. Terminate if they don't, terminate if they do. Poor, poor employees. Brian, okay. Brian and Tim, they both terminated. Okay, can I uh, leave? Here we go. There's a movie reel here, but I can't pick it up. Let's see what else is there. Oh, another bird. Click on that. Can I? I can't click on it. Okay. I clicked on this one, that one. Oh, there's another. Oh, there's a little one here. I didn't see that one. We sold the cinema to a man named Jim Whittingmore. You left to work in an advertising company, and I went off to write about what happened between us. I still had this idea of buying it back one day, of restoring it room for room until it represented those golden years we had together. Okay, so I thought we were Jim Whittingmore, but I guess that's the. That was the uh, the uh, the other owner that we sold the, the cinema to. This is the security uh, room. Can't really do anything here. No. Nope. All right, here we go. On to the back stages. Back rooms, whatever you want to call it. I have traced back to the start of it all. I have come to the precipice and purged myself of you. I have lifted every memory and thrown it away with every postcard I ever sent you. Every one of them burned in that fatalistic desire to be rid of all guilt and accountability. All I can do is 
Hope it will work. Hope. And wait. Back into that room. And it's it's a bit sad this guy lost not only like his passion, his like love, uh, his projects, his uh, like theater. But he lost the love of love of his life as well. If something is missing here. We know that already. Let's try and find a movie. Oh, there's plenty of them here. We have to find the one, I think. This is upside down. Or flipped. That's a bit weird. Oh, did, did the owner used to sleep here? Or did we or something? Let's see. The pursuit of happiness, no guarantees. Where did I go wrong? Was it real? Poster bands and serenades. Rose colored. Trail list, treachery, love madness. But this guy's going through a lot. To coke, a healthy diet. One four four eight. This mean. Also, I don't. I think these are his memories. Yeah. Oh. That's what it means. One, four, four, eight. Nope. One, four, four, eight. Oh. Dracula. Cabaret. Batman. Batman. After hours. Jaws. Classic. Canal Kandahar. LA Confidential, Maltese Falcon, Never Ending Story, Pirates of the Caribbean. <laughs> okay. That's such good movies, and then you have. No. <laughs> Rosa. Oh, Rosa. Never heard of that one. Okay, I'm just gonna pick Dracula because uh, that's my favorite out of these ones. Karate Kids. Kids. Oh, I can't, I can't pick it up. D-Day. I can't pick any of these up. Oh. Maybe we have to pick Rosa. Check. Yep. Alright, let's uh, play Rosa then. Dear Rosa, I hope you can find it in your heart to forgive me. Oh no. Well, the cinema is named after her. Or a uh, lost love. That was a really short game. <laughs> I thought there would be more of it. Honestly. I mean, it's still quite a cool, like, short story. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. It's quite nice to have some games like this once in a while. They just take, like, they're so simplistic in their own, uh, in their own way. 
and they do what they do best is to tell an efficient story in a short period of time. But yeah, I really enjoy that. I mean, it's not, it is not as good as the Stanley Parable or the Arrester and the likes, but uh, it's quite nice, man. It's still quite cool. And I enjoyed my little playthrough of it. And I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Uh, yeah, that's all I have to say about it. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll catch you all in the next episode. Or in the next Let's Play, in this uh, case. Plan Powers, out!